Well, my name is Randy Acosta. I'm the executive director of the Hartford County Boys and Girls Clubs. Today, we're fortunate to be part of Jamil McLean's first annual football clinic. Jamil McLean, linebacker, Baltimore Ravens. And the Ravens Foundation, they do great work for our kids. You know, these kids here are going to get exposed to football skills and drills, agility testing, and it's a great day. You know, we're just, we're just having a good time out here with the kids. You know, we're keeping the kids active with an emphasis on football, you know. So we showed them how to get warmed up. You know, we showed them how to get stretched and went through that. You know, I had my speed coach, Tone Fulton. Okay, uh, my name is Coach Tony, Tony Fulton Sr. I am the speed and conditioning trainer for Jamil McLean. I've been working with him since I was a, a freshman in high school, had him come out here. And then, you know, we got dental care, positive, positive, teaching them positive choices in life. So this is an overall, overall thing for the kids. You know, it's not really just running around out here. This is just teaching them how to be a complete person, how to be a complete, you know, citizen. Go. Uh, my name is Coach Epps. I'm the head coach here. I'm the uh, program director of this camp here. Jamil McLean's camp brings a lot of people out with a lot of enthusiasm, so we're here to encourage the kids to do their best, and they leave away here with a youth combine number that they can take to their football organization to tell exactly where they're at in the 40, the broad jump, the three-cone drill, the shuttle drill, and also the push-up, so they can have a range of some type of gauge when they get to camp when they play football starting this season. My name is Devin Williams. I am a cheerleader for the Washington Wizards. Jamil's been doing this for a while. This has always been um, a dream for him to be able to give back to the community because there's so many things that he has overcome in his life and so many adversities that he has um, gotten through and he wants to make sure that he inspires the kids, especially the young boys, to make sure that they know that with hard work they can achieve anything and that they can succeed. Uh, my name is Richard Curry. I'm the executive director of Yes Mentorship Program. Out here, um, we're helping out uh, with the camp today. Uh, a lot of some of the kids are the kids that are in our program right now. Um, so this is one of the things we do. Some of our volunteers, our, our football players, in, in their past life as well. Um, so we like sports um, and spend time with the children um, today. And we'll be saying a few words of encouragement to the children today before we close out today. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing, just trying to help out. Uh, Edgar Jones, outside linebacker for the Washington Reds. Man. I'm out here with Jamil McClain. We out here in uh, Edgewood, out of the football camp right here today. And I'm just out here working with the kids, teaching them the fundamentals of football. Not only the fundamentals of football, just the fundamentals of life. Uh, what it means just to work hard and go after your goals and, and the dreams of which you want to go after. Playing the sieges, adults out here trying to get them in the, in the right way. I feel like it's great for these kids and just being in the community is a great thing, man. Just to be out here and people see you outside of the helmet. A lot of times people see you with the helmet on, but just to be out here laughing and talking with the kids is a great feeling. Eddie Fitzgerald and I'm the father of my son Eddie Fitzgerald Jr. This is an excellent program for Edgewood, especially for the kids to get them to come out to do to, to get involved in the community and, and just do sports, you know, get the exercise that they need to, to be healthy. My name's uh, Randy German and my son is Ryan German uh, who's played with um, Emerton Rec football for the last, what, eight years? Oh, I think it's great. Whatever the kids can get, um, you know, out of this, you know, especially I see a lot of young ones um, to carry this, carry their football, you know, even farther. That's like my mine started out when he was five, running around like a bobblehead <laughs> with the helmet on, and has loved it. So this is something good for the kids.